In Adobe Dimension, you edit the look of models with the material and texturing system. The physically based rendering, PBR, system provides photorealistic results. Adobe Dimension has features for applying, editing, and linking materials in the scene. Dimension's material shading system is based on the Adobe Standard Material, ASM, definition. ASM is used for shaders across Adobe apps to provide consistent high-quality material representation. The Adobe Standard Material represents rich material properties like metallic, roughness, translucency, subsurface scattering, coat, sheen, and more. How to apply materials to objects. Drag and drop materials onto objects to apply them. You can apply materials to single objects or select many objects before applying. Use materials from the starter assets, creative cloud libraries, or import your own. Changing a material to another on an asset by drag and drop. Apply materials to models to change their appearance. How to edit material properties. Each object displays a list of the materials assigned to it in Properties Panel Material section. Use the material list to select and edit each material. The material's properties can be used to modify the appearance of a material. Use Material section to access and edit materials per object. Non-parametric materials will show the Adobe Standard Material Shader properties. You can edit values like color and roughness. Some properties can also use textures to control the values. Substance materials expose custom properties that are different per material. These generate textures and values, like color and roughness, which control the shader. Properties controlled by the material are not available for editing. Substance materials are parametric and have unique properties defined by the author. When you apply a material to an object, a new instance of the material is created. When you apply a material to a group of objects, only one new material instance is created and shared across all objects in the group. You can change the material options for each material instance without affecting other instances. Use the Sampler tool to reuse materials through a scene. First click with the Sampler tool to select a material from the viewport. Then, hold Shift and click in the viewport to apply that material to new objects. Use the Sampler tool to sample and reuse materials through a scene. Editing materials used on multiple objects will affect all objects using that material. Use Unlink Material to disconnect a material from other objects. Import objects with materials. Many models have materials made for them. For model formats that support it, Dimension will import materials and textures at the same time. When importing a model without materials, Dimension will use the default material. You can also import models which are already textured. Models import with textures when available with the model. Some formats embed textures in the model format like GLB, FBX, and USD. Other formats may have textures in the same folder as the model. Add images as material layers. Dimension allows easy drag and drop application of images onto the surface of any model. Images will appear in the material layer stack over the base material and have some material properties of their own. 
Each layer can be moved and edited independently. Decal mode allows the image placement anywhere on the surface of the model. Fill mode will place the image in UV 0 to 1 space with tiling and transform controls. Use the decal placement mode for sticker-like details. Drag and drop an image to a model to add it as a material layer. Decal placement mode is best for isolated sticker-like details.